Alright, this is a HP Pavilion, all in one. Okay, here's some things down in the bottom. It doesn't have any model number on the front, but I'm going to spin it around for you. And uh, it's quite different than my touchscreen, my uh, HP 300. Alright, so this is not a touchscreen. It has some numbers down on the side, but um, these are the numbers that you're going to use to order your restore CDs and stuff. So uh, I'm going to show you how to get into where the memory is up here, where the hard drive is here, the CD-ROM drive we're going to pull out. I'm going to take this big thing off up on top because down here is some, uh, and I don't know if, yeah, you can see it right here. They're dirty, so I want to clean those out. I'm not going to show you how to clean them out. I'm going to show you how I'm going to gain access to it, then take this out with my, my air compressor and clean them out. So that's uh, something I told my uh, customer I would do. What I don't like about this is it seems like there's no way to get to the main area back here where the big fan is underneath. Uh, I've looked around for screws. I don't know if I take, when I take that panel off down here, this panel to take the screws off to take this big thing off, uh, maybe there will be something else down there. But uh, let's take it one step at a time and uh, we're going to start taking this thing apart. Alrighty. This is uh, the, the HP, the model number back here is MS227. So uh, here we go with, uh, with uh, we're going to take the hard drive out first. There's a rubber thing here you want to pull up and pull aside. There's two screws in there. One is for this cover and the other one is to take out the CD-ROM drive. We're taking this top one off first. There's a lower one and a top one. It's actually a shorter of the two screws. And we're going to take that screw out. Of course, power is off, and we have our monitor on a cushion. Okay, I don't even like putting it on a table. I like a nice pillow-type cushion. You don't just slide this back. It comes off very easy. All right, just remember you got to put this back in because the screw's going to go through there. And I have the screw right here set aside. This is a handle just like on my uh, HP 300. So it's the same kind of handle. In fact, the same kind of spring screw down here. And so a self-retaining screw, so it stays with it, it's got a spring to it. And you're going to take this and pull it back. It's plugged in down here. Because we're going to pull it back and pull it up. And your hard drive's out. So it's, it actually plugs in down there someplace where the plugs are. So you're going to take the four screws off here and slide the hard drive out, put the new hard drive, put the four screws back in. And then uh, we're going to put this, uh, there, there's a uh, little uh, slots here. On the side, and that's where you're putting the, the you're putting the putting the screw down. The screw lines up with this and goes down inside there. And then uh, try not to let it fall. If you let go right now, it's going to fall, and you don't want to jar computer hard drives around. So grab this and set it down nice and easy. And then you're going to once it's down, you're going to take it and push, and you'll feel it plugging into plugging into that. So and then you're going to tighten this guy down. And put put the screw back in. We do not need to have this screw in to take out the CD-ROM drive. So um, put the screw back down. Well, post. See, I did it. Ha ha ha! I did it. <laughs> put the panel on first. That's not the first time I did that. Okay. <laughs> Get yourself a laugh. Computer technician technician messes up. So um, that's on. It's uh, flat all around. And now put the screw in. Hey, it's better than me trying to turn on a computer without power plugged in, which has happened before. Okay, so now there's another there's another uh, screw down inside there. That screw is what we're going to do, and we're going to take out the CD-ROM drive. So this is kind of an odd-looking screw, very long. And you sure can't put it any place else. That's the screw. <laughs> so it's a uh, so now, um, the problem here now is uh, there, there's a uh, little arrow down inside. It's hard to see, okay, but trust me, there's an arrow and a silver thing down there. You're going to stick a, a screwdriver down there and you're going to push. And see, it comes out. And that's your CD-ROM drive. That's where the screw was uh, that went in there. All right. So if you have to replace your CD drive, that's going to be it. There's some dust in there. I'm going to take and brush that off. 
dust all around this. So I'm going to just to blow that off. And uh, I'm going to pop it back in. Kind of jiggle it around some. Work it in. All right, you'll see it down there. And push it all the way in. Don't overdo it because I could tell you could push it in further. You don't need to overdo that. We're going to put the screw back in. Uh, what I do is I put that in. I learned this in the Navy and you just have your, your finger right there. It's uh, Having a finger on the screw all the time stops it from uh, falling. Okay, so that, that's back in. We can close this guy down. And we're going to turn this around for a minute. Now, this is where your memory is. Okay, um, there's a little rubber thing here. We're going to pop this and move it aside. All right, take the screw out. It's a small guy. Big fingers. Doesn't work too good sometimes. All right, and we're going to move that over there. Very easy just to pop this off. Plus, you give me a hard time now, right? <laughs> and there's your two memory chips. Okay, so uh, just like in any other uh, video uh, that I've made, you take this, the two tabs, and pop them apart. All right, and it pops up. Be careful not to touch the top or bottom. Okay, you always touch the sides. All right, these are this is a laptop memory chip, and it's the same kind of memory chip that's in my uh, my uh, HP 300 touchscreen. So you're going to slide this back in, and it is. Uh, you got to get it in the right one. I'm, I'm trying to put it this way up on top. I was putting it on the bottom one for some reason, where there's already one. You slide it in there and push down. Click, click. And that's it. So, um, and then you put your uh, panel back in. Very easy to do. I mean, uh, extremely easy to gain access to and all. Now, uh, the problem I have... Okay, is getting to the fan under here to actually clean out the fan. All right, uh, th this is uh, this is just the issue I have with uh, simplicity. Why couldn't HP just make this as easy as the 300? We have two big panels that slide off, and everything's right there. It just uh, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. All right, there's a panel. I'm looking at the camera to make sure we can see this. There's a panel down here that needs to come off. There is an area for a screwdriver to go in and then pop off the panel. All right, so that's it. And then uh, put the put this thing down. We need to take this thing off. Is what we're doing. There's three Phillips head screwdriver screws down there. They're relatively relatively long. And get down there and get the screw out. All right, and set those aside. There is actually a uh, guide pin down there for when we put this thing back in, and I'll show you that. It's like a little uh, inset. Boy, I tell you what, that screw uh, might have to get my mechanical fingers to get it out. There we go. And then a uh, third one. This is once again keep it simple HP. If you're watching this video, this is not a user-friendly thing, and I'm hoping to make it. It's <laughs> this is ridiculous. Kind of get that screw. There we go. Okay, this should slide off. There we go. That's out. Look how dusty. That's what I want to get in here for is to clean it. Now this uh, this little slot right here, and this one, there's two little dimples right there that uh, lines it up and that's something we're going to put back in when it's time. So so I have this about as far apart as we can get it right now. Uh, I don't see any way of taking the top part off either inside this, it can't get inside the CD-ROM drive this thing doesn't come off. There's just no way to actually take this top part off. So um, And I don't want to take these screws off down here all right, that might actually affect some other part of this. So my goal now is, I can see uh, in here real good. So I'm going to get the air compressor in there and blow out all this all this dust on the bottom uh, down down here. 
So, so that's the, the goal. Uh, of, that's the reason why I took this off. So when I go put this back on after blowing this out, I'll make the other part of this video, putting this all back together and showing you how clean it is. What I'm uncomfortable about is the fan that's under here that spins around to suck up the air from here to go out up there, I can't gain access to. And if any of you do know how to do that or figure out how to do that on this kind of HP uh, all-in-one, please add the video to mine. Okay, so uh, all the users that that um, use this kind of computer can actually figure out how to do it. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, blow this out, and then I'll make the other part of the video putting this back on. Okay, I want to show you something here. When I uh, when I went out to clean this, I used a low pressure air can is what I did. Uh, one of those things you buy in the stores. But I want to show you something, and I'm going to really hope that I can get this in in the video. This is where the hard drive is, and there's a little area right there that you can blow in. That's the fan right there. That's right inside. So that's where it, just uh, hit that with air, air, and the dust will come out on top, and um, it's pretty, it's pretty clean. Uh, so uh, the little air can did a, did a really good job. So I just wanted to point that out to you before I put this in. I'm going to leave the hard drive out because uh, we already covered the installation of the hard drive. So we're going to put this guy back in. All right. And there's a, there's a little uh, adjustments. Okay, there's a, a tab right here that's going to go underneath. And then uh, slides right into place. And both both of these, that tab went underneath, and both of these sit right on the bottom of the sl slots here. So it, it, it's pretty secure once it's in there, and it's very easy. And that's it. And all you got to do is get these screws to go on there without slipping out of your fingers. It meant for somebody with small hands. So once again, I don't like magnetic screws. And that's one right there. And I'm also one that uh, puts all the parts back in. Some people think, oh, let's just put two of them back in. That's all you need. No, no, that's, uh, that's not it. It's just like those mechanics that only change five out of the six spark plugs because that sixth one's so hard to get to. I don't like that at all. One of the, new news, uh, one of the news investigators uh, caught somebody red-handed up in D.C. Washington, D.C. doing that. So you got to be careful about technicians that don't do what they promise. I am one, my ethics are way too good for that. So, all right, it is doable even with big hands. Okay, and this is just a, a snap into place. Okay, that's the identification. So it goes up, it goes that's that side first. I'm hoping you can see it. Okay, and then you push down, and you'll hear some clicking. Do the sides first. Watch your fingers, because it snaps, and if your finger's in there, it will hurt. Okay, so that's it. We already covered this, so I'm not worried about that anymore. So that's it. That's, uh, that's all back in there, and nice and secure. So I hope you like the video. Uh, nice and clean system. Once he gets a hard drive in, uh, we're going to load it up, and it'll work fine for him. Okay, so everything else to uh, check good with diagnostics. If you have one of these and you need to check the diagnostics, that boot up, hit F9, and then it'll go through checking all the diagnostics. If your hard drive comes up with a smart failure, maybe too late to recover your data. So, uh, you know, back up your data on a normal basis. Check out my video on SkyDrive, a perfect cloud to put all your stuff on. All right, hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you want and share with a friend.